It is chilly at the bus stop, but when the kids get home from school, it won't be this chilly, right, Michelle? No, you know, we'll be up into the 60s this afternoon, Patrick. So nice afternoon on the way, probably the pick of the week weather-wise in terms of temperatures, sunshine. And we're starting off with plenty of it this morning with our live city cam showing those blue skies over Providence. Uh, 40s and now a few 50s. We've got 45 Providence. Pawtucket's back up to 41. New Bedford still reporting 36 degrees with those clear skies. And the chilly air here here first thing this morning doesn't last long today. Tomorrow too, a mild start to the week. The temperatures above average today and Tuesday, but then we have a big change coming. Cold front's going to come in. It's going to bring us much cooler weather. Tip the scales to below average temperatures for uh, the end of the week into the weekend, starting with Wednesday's high. And speaking of Wednesday, we're watching a coastal storm, one that may bring some rain to our area. It doesn't look particularly heavy or intense, but could see some cold rain or drizzle. Game one up at Fenway Park on Wednesday evening. I'll show you more to that, but radar right now again, quiet and dry. Sunglasses along with those jackets first thing here this morning. This is the view from URI, of course not Newport. It's the Kingston. We widen out the view here and take a look at the satellite and radar. High pressure, that H on the weather map, giving us another beautiful day here to start off the work week. You can see some showers up over the Great Lakes. Those will stay up to our north. A cold front is sitting across the central Great Lakes right now. That's going to sweep across our area by the end of the day tomorrow into tomorrow evening. There's not going to be a lot of weather showers. Uh, maybe a sprinkle with it, but we will see the colder air behind it. So much chillier uh, starting Tuesday night. And again, that colder air settles in for Wednesday and less into the end of the week. Nine o'clock in the morning, about 53 degrees, bright and chilly. Southwest winds at five o'clock at uh, five miles an hour by three in the afternoon. Nice recovery from this morning's lows, 65. So the normal is about 62. We're running a few degrees warmer than average, lighter winds, pleasant and dry. Southwest winds five to 10 miles an hour, down to about 48 overnight tonight, mostly clear. Not as chilly with that south wind at five to 10 miles an hour. Good visibility on the bay today. Southwest winds again, waves one to two feet. The high tides just before 10 in the morning. Low tide at 3.30 in the afternoon. Here's the seven day future cast. And from the mid 60s today to the upper 60s tomorrow, to the upper 40s for a high on Wednesday afternoon. And again, if that coastal storm does develop and track close to us, be a chilly and damp, raw feel to the day on Wednesday. And that may extend into Wednesday evening. Right now, I'm forecasting at least a chance for some showers during the game time. Temperatures will be in the low and mid 40s for that evening game. Thursday's high near 53 will dry out and clear out our skies. And the weekend starts off dry and sunny. But looking ahead to those Friday night football games, it'll be chilly at the uh, fields this week with temperatures at 7 o'clock, probably in the upper 40s and then dropping into the upper 30s to lower 40s by 10 o'clock in the evening. No big warm ups heading into the weekend, maybe a shower possible by the end of the day on Sunday. WPRI.com, you can head there and get the latest future.